Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, in today's video, we're talking pallets, and we are going to transition away from the standard wood pallet to a plastic pallet. And well, we're going to see how it looks, how it goes, and how we like it. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, we are outside now, and this is where the project really begins. As you can see, we've got a decent amount of wood on the ground and the ground ground. And we want that up off the ground and on pallets. We've got wooden pallets here. And again, over time, wooden pallets will rot. Not overnight. It will take several years, but they will rot. So we are looking into alternative options for pallets. And... Here in about 30 to 40 minutes, there's going to be a company that arrives and they are going to grind out these stumps here. And these were very large bushes. And this is the section or area that we are going to lay the pallets and basically put the wood on the pallets. And again, this pallet under here is about two years old and it is showing some significant age. And if I showed you a close up under there, there are several beams that are cracked in and caved in, but that's normal with the weight of wood. Now to an update, they are all complete, did a great job, and I will continue cleaning up this entire area, removing rocks and the remains of the loose debris that they cut away, as shown there. And I will give you an update on a different day. Again, we are going to patiently wait for the new pallets to arrive. All right, DIYers, hey, we are on the computer now, and while we wait for the new pallets to be shipped and arrive at our home, I just wanted to get on the computer and show you the listing that we ordered the pallets from. And going up to the top of the title of the listing, I want to focus on two items. Number one, the measurement, which is 36 inches by 32 inches, and the second one is the weight capacity, which is 2,000 pounds, and that's impressive. In addition, coming down to these little items here, proudly made in the USA, fire and flame retardant, replacement parts available, impervious to bug infestations, and export ready. In addition, we will see more. And here is additional information for you and 36 by 32 by 4.5. Coming back up and a close-up view of the pallet, as you see. So again, I just wanted to show you that. DIYers, we are back with a three-week update. Yes, it has been three weeks and we've got all five of our pallets and we are probably going to order more. But we'll start with five. Let's go ahead and open them. At this point, I have just begun to open up one and I just want to show you a close-up view. And packaging, I mean, it comes in one piece. And it's got screws and pretty nice. And again, what it looks like on the sides, you can order plastic pallets without the bottom braces but I wanted the bottom three braces as shown here for better strength and durability. One pallet fully removed from the cardboard box and there it is. Again, 36 by 32 is the size we ordered. They do come in larger sizes. We will post those links down below in the comments and description. And again, very hard, durable plastic, as you see right there. Taking a step back and all five pallets have been removed from the cardboard box and I really like these. These are sweet. What I'm going to do is actually show you the bottom side of one of the pallets because they are not braced like the top portion. The top portion has five beams, but the bottom only has three. But again, the hours, there they are. Those are sweet. And I did just that and there is the bottom portion of two of the pallets. And again, only three beams or braces 
and you can order different sizes that come with different amounts of braces on the bottom as well as top to the side of the garage where the wood is and I have changed my mind I am going to start laying the pallets in this section right here as opposed to behind the garage and the cable has been buried and basically it is direct shot from the box to the concrete and rides the concrete all the way back and we are going to place the pallets accordingly to another update and as you can see I have laid or placed the five pallets in the location that I want them and again we ordered five and we probably are going to order more these are pretty nice and again we've got the concrete inside a garage and we've got this little hill or berm and in our opinion it's a perfect location for the wood and the gap in between the concrete and the pallet where the cable is buried is just enough room to allow that cable to never be harmed over the years that the weight of the wood is on the pallets and from here we are going to move as much of the wood onto the pallets as we can i am making progress and i like what i see so far and check out what i just found look at that Taking a step back and the entire stack that was right there is now resting on the pallets. And again, I like what I see. We are going to purchase more pallets. I want them looping all the way back and around to the back side of the garage. Again, all matching black plastic pallets. And I got a lot more work to do as you see. And there's pros and cons with these new plastic pallets. And the wood ones will rot over time, but the plastic ones will likely fade, maybe turn gray. But right now they are a nice black. I like them. Making our way back to the back side of the garage. Again, it's been about three weeks and we've got some weeds growing. And the pallets, I'm going to shift them out away from the actual garage. And maybe a pallet length or 40 inches or so. So I've got a walkway back here. Same as right here. And a different angle, as you see. Again, we like them. More are going to be ordered. Taking a big step back and to this side, let's go underneath the pallet and see if we can notice anything that would be of help to you. And not sure if it will be, and it looks as if the weight of the wood is not impacting or pressing down too much on the top braces or platform of the pallets themselves. I'm impressed again, I like them. Here we are to another update and again we have five pallets and by referencing the listing as we did earlier each pallet can hold or withstand 2,000 pounds and 2,000 pounds times five equals 10,000 pounds and if evenly spaced or distributed the pallet should hold 10,000 pounds again evenly distributed or placed on the pallets that's the challenge right and I didn't hear any cracks during the stacking, which is good. If you hear cracks, that's not good. That means you are applying too much weight in a given location or exceeding and being careless and reckless with the pallet. DIYers don't do that. And again, there it is. We are ordering more. We are very happy, very satisfied, very impressed. And if you are watching this video and we've had it uploaded for a couple years, we will have an update video basically showing or explaining a review two years from now on these pallets and how they performed and lasted. Another step back in DIYs, obviously the wood is not split at this time and the stacking is not perfect and that will come at a later date. My older brother Matt has an awesome wood splitter and we will do that at a later date. As I mentioned, we will not bore you with that in this video. DIYs, hey, if you are still watching, I think it's time to upgrade to a heavy duty, I'm talking heavy duty, plastic pallet. And this one is showing some age, but it's rock solid and it is a heavy duty, heavy pallet. And it will go the distance, it will last. However, might as well upgrade and bolt this Raptor to a brand new heavy duty plastic pallet. 
DORs, good morning. It is the next day and I'm just out checking to see if the pallets are still holding up. And I went all around, check for cracks, check for any signs of stress, nothing. Again, evenly distributed weight is key. Now to the opposite side and coming down here, this was my main focus, were all of these little pieces here, just verifying every single piece or upper slab, those little plastic gaps in between, or how they are manufactured. None of them caved in. Those are solid. And you can agree with me, that is a lot of weight. And again, not one single one of those braces have caved in. Hard plastic, very impressive.